Meantime, an intense day of training is wrapped up tonight at Camp Pendleton. As we first showed you on 10 News this morning, heavily armed Marines and sailors stormed Trestle State Beach during a pre-dawn training exercise. New at 6, 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco shows us why the training has some real opposition. The Marines and sailors from Camp Pendleton took over a nearby beach for an important training exercise, but not one that doesn't come without controversy. An amphibious assault vehicle patrolled the shoreline. Military aircraft hovered above while Marines with weapons drawn crawled through the brush of Trestles Beach north of San Onofre. 2,400 Marines and sailors with the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit and the Boxer Amphibious Ready Group are getting ready to deploy to the Western Pacific in August. I believe America is the greatest country and just want to actually fight for it. Really to get back to our, our roots that we had uh, back in the 90s or so, getting away from, you know, the desert warfare and really trying to work our ability to go from, you know, from the sea to the shore. While the military trains, surfers catch waves nearby. These mock attacks have some real opposition. The Surfrider Foundation wants Trestles Beach to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Camp Pendleton, though, has 17 miles of shorefront training, including Trestles. Well, this beach does provide a unique training venue for the Marines. There's very little beachfront access that we can do these amphibious landings, so it definitely does help us out. A spokeswoman here at Camp Pendleton says in the last three years, the Marines have used that beach 13 times for training. She says they have no problem sharing it with the surfers. Reporting outside of Camp Pendleton, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.